Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing easy tips for natural hair growth and how I grew my hair from thin to thick in one year. I'll be showing you month by month pics and a clip of me at the barbershop. If you are in the Chicago area and need an awesome haircut, check out Illustrious Cut in Hyde Park. Info will be down in the description box below. I was nervous, so I sent snaps to my sisters about my fake glasses in case I didn't like my haircut. When I get my haircut, I'm gonna start wearing these glasses. It's not prescribed. I finally found the courage, so I went in and now I'm getting my hair cut. All my dead hair, all gone. So here I am, ready for a new beginning, start afresh, you know, ready to learn about how to love and care for my hair. I cut my hair because it was very damaged from years of perm. So I did a lot of research to learn how to grow my hair naturally and in a healthy way. I also just wanted something totally different and that's why I'm sharing what worked for me for my hair growth. I also had microblading and eyelash extension done just to help enhance my features. The hair we're going into the month of February. My hair has grown just a little bit. So I tried to gel down my hair, like all of it. And that's what you see in this clip right here. These are the tips and what I actually did consistently every month at least to make sure that my hair is growing healthily. I deep conditioned once a week. I took my prenatal vitamins or any hair, skin, and nail vitamins. I also took liquid biotin. I use a silk scar or uh, silk caps every night even though I had a very short hair. I also wore wigs just to help me feel like I had you know long luscious hair. So I'm wearing some wigs here before I got my braids in May. I got braids in the month of May and June and also in July. These are two types of braids, two different times. I didn't keep the same braid for the whole uh, three months. I keep it for maybe a month and then I take it out and redo it maybe a month after just to kind of give my hair some breathing. My other tips for natural hair growth and thickness is that every morning and before bedtime, I always moisturize my hair. I would spray my hair with some water and use oil of my choice. It could be a sweet almond oil, a mixture of black Jamaican castor oil, neem oil, avocado oil, or any kind of oil that you feel comfortable with that you think works for your hair. I tried several different types of oil and this mixture works for me and melted shea butter as well. I put that in my hair as well. Whenever I had braids in my hair, I usually put the virgin hair fertilizer on my scalp. It actually tingles my scalp and helps it improving the circulation to my scalp. So I use that also consistently every single time that I had braids in my hair. Those are my other tips for helping grow thick, healthy, natural hair. I also tried twist out, which really didn't turn out the way I would like for it to turn out or the way I saw it on other YouTubers. I tried it twice in October and again in December. So I sort of gave up on doing it. I'm not a fan of it. Then I tried the last braid for the year and because I realized that it weakens my edges pretty much for a while. I will not be doing braids in my hair anymore. Any single braids is a no-no. So I'm going to just stick to wearing my natural hair and wearing my wigs and just stay that way for a while until I see some changes. I hope this tip helps you. If you're going to try it, please stay consistent. Consistency is key to natural hair growth. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. And thank you guys to my 100 subscribers. You guys are amazing. God bless you all. Thank you. I'll see you next time.